Heel Frog was favored even in Russia, where such cars are not very popular. Let's try to understand what the owners love it so much and what they don't like it for. And is it worth to look for a similar car in the domestic secondary market? Heel was produced with the standard wheelbase, shortened and extended. Available in three-door and five-door variants with different skill levels. Glazed van, a van with metal panels instead of rear windows. In Europe, it was even possible to purchase an all-wheel drive version and a version a la Landolette, by Thief, with a removable part of the roof. There was also some demand for the seven-seater Grand Kangoo modification with a removable third row of seats. The second generation of the Frenchman, the factory series FW slash KW, surprisingly took root in Russia. Perhaps due to the fact that initially the car was not too expensive, not only in showrooms, but also in operation. However, the extremely practical and roomy heels clattered briskly on the asphalt of many of our cities, rather, for a different reason. In Russia, cars with 8 and 16 valve 1.6 petrol engines were officially sold, the same ones that are considered the key to the indestructibility of Logan and Duster. After studying the material, we came to a simple conclusion. Buying such a bird after using it for commercial purposes is more expensive for yourself. Why do you need twisted mileage, shabby interior, and suspension? In addition, are you sure that the previous owner did not save on changing the oil in the engine and transmission? But from the family of bug-eyed, you can safely take. Even the most fierce mother-in-law is not able to provide him with regular overload. In addition, the share of passenger versions of Kangoo in the market is more than 85%. And since we are talking about percentages, it is worth adding that in the secondary, a significant part of the cars, a little less than 45%, is found with 1.5 diesel engines, again, we recall Duster. However, in our case, it is already difficult to consider them a virtue, since problems with high-pressure fuel pumps, 90,000 rubles, a turbocharger, up to 100,000 rubles, and liners that turn willingly after 100,000 runs, on cars up to 2010 onwards. Make diesel maintenance is monstrously expensive against the backdrop of low maintenance costs for reliable gasoline engines and other vehicle components. Practically exemplary on Logan's, 5-speed manual gearboxes, in fact, remain the same here. However, regular overloading is easy, already by 150,000 kilometers, can finish them off. This is especially true of the JB3 boxes, which were equipped with 8-valve K7M engines. Four-speed automatic transmissions are very rare. Officially, two-pedal Kangoo was not supplied to us. But we don't recommend specifically chasing such machines. DP0 and DP2 boxes are notorious for their tendency to overheat, which in our case means increased wear. Suspension troubles happen, again, in case of overweight abuse. Signs of a tired car will be sagging rear springs from 2,500 rubles for a non-original, or buzzing wheel bearings. 3,000 rubles. The civilian cars have a minimum of complaints about the suspension. Our margin of safety is simply envy. Otherwise, the heel fully justifies its low cost. This is if we talk about the body, interior and electrics. The angle of inclination of the windshield implies its increased vulnerability to stone chips. Cracks and chips cannot be avoided, and glass replacement will require at least 300 euros. The plastic of the head optics loses its transparency by about 150,000 kilometers, it's normal. Besides, the shades can be changed inexpensively. LCP strength is not different. Chips occur willingly, but the resistance of even bare metal to rust is enviable. Galvanics rules. The weak point is the outer rubber seals of the side windows. Over time, they cease to stay in the allotted places and often can even get lost on the road. The cabin is modest. Besides the French from Renault are famous for their extraordinary approach to design and ergonomics. The upholstery of the seats, even in the passenger and freight versions, wears out quite quickly and unesthetically. Willingly collapses and platform emphasis under the left foot. However, the main claims from the owners of Kangoo eventually appear to the electrician. Contacts, limit switches, wiring, ignition system vulnerable to moisture. A rotten license plate light bulb base. It is not protected from moisture. Rotten door lock switches or rotten contacts on a windshield wiper can cause a short circuit and even fire. In short, Kangoo is good, but far from perfect. However, the shortcomings are not critical and are treated inexpensively. Transmission. The main problem of a transmission with a manual gearbox with frequent overloads is the weakening of the damper springs of the clutch disc. 
but before a run of 100,000 kilometers, this twitching does not appear. However, the disc usually requires replacement at 120 to 140,000 kilometers. By the way, the cost of a new mechanics for an 8 valve is about 180,000 rubles. Engine. By a run of 80,000 kilometers, 1.6 motors ooze oil through the seals. I need to look after the ignition system, its interruptions, or rather the excess of unburned fuel in the cylinders, as a result, can sentence an expensive one under 60,000 rubles. Neutralizer. Sensors, oxygen, and crankshaft position are also not considered the standard of reliability. Suspension. The main consumables stabilizer struts. Here sometimes they go up to an incredible 100,000 kilometers, slightly more tenacious ball bearings, 600 rubles. Shock absorbers have to be changed at the turn of 120,000 kilometers, from 15 to 80 euros a piece. Separately, like ball joints, you can change the silent blocks of the front levers. By the way, they easily live up to 150,000 kilometers. Body. No better or worse than other cars. Plus when buying, the presence of wheel arch liners. Rear sliding doors should not be afraid, they are convenient. And problems with locks are found not only on them, but also in front. Body parts are available, fenders and a hood in the range of 1800 to 2000 rubles per part, and a new headlight will cost up to 5000 rubles.